gentlemen welcome this is the energy vibration reading um for um the month of august for you um aquarian sun moon horizon sign okay i'm just gonna get myself together here because i have done um the a general reading and and those were so long um using a new deck um this is good again thanks to um what's her name uh sadie for this new deck i want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back leave a message of what you think um about these cards we're using the deck of um wonderland Torak. um please remember to listen to the general readings um i can't remember if there was um messages for you guys for the general readings but I uh, go ahead it is a month of um, a, a hurt month um, in the, uh, for you guys it's a message of the hurt month but um, there is also um, because it's hurt and of fire um, the beginning of the month oh these are weird <gasps> okay um, you guys are here so um, we are going to be checking you guys out to find out because these this is a, this is a fantastic deck um because um it's, it's so weird um you guys are air sign so you're the sword so you are the flamingos okay this deck is just unbelievable and it's just so wonderful and it's just so funny okay so you Aries or the flamingo we're going to be looking at that soon but we're moving on to look at your energy now for you Aries is an air sign so this is going to be a good month for <laughs> Aquarians I'm sorry you Aquarians is going to be an air sign so this is wonderful so um, welcome to the month of August and um, you have the energy of justice for you Aquarians okay so this month of August we have five weeks um, the two first two and a half first weeks is going to be fire and the two and a half last week is going to be the energy of hurt okay there's a message that comes out the number two there's an offer that is coming into you okay there is an offer so um, it could be justice um, but there is an offer that is going to be coming in for you guys okay this is a beautiful deck I should say um, go back to the general readings if you can and check out the general readings um, this deck is the deck from the Tara Wonderland and it is again from Sadie thank you so much Sadie thanks okay so in the first week it's a um, you guys in the first week you're working um, with the energy of love so a new offer in love is going to be coming in for you Aquarians okay so in the second week uh, um, you guys are working with the energy of movement let's see um, the angman the energy of the angman comes up um, this is uh, um, a situation where some of you need to look at yourself in the third week the energy of debt comes up so the angman and debt a transition so offer was going to come in a page of new love is coming in a transition page of cups and then we have the energy of the two of cups okay so what exactly is happening here because we have the energy of justice the energy of justice has to do with a new offer that is coming in but it's as if this offer is uh, um, you know there's have to be a lot of thought and now there is a transition that is coming in so we're going to find out what is this transition there's a um, new love that is coming in in the set in the uh, fourth week and the second week some of you are going to be connecting with someone else okay so I'm seeing a transition with this angman situation is coming in so what is this offer is all about because you guys are um, using the energy of justice what is this offer all about 
this offer is about the energy of the magician so this is going to be extremely extremely good for uh, you Aquarians because what is happening is that there's an offer that is um, coming in that is uh, is going to be um, you know you are going to take this offer and work magic okay whatever is coming in you are going to take this offer and work magic the energy of the angman and the debt energy of the angman and the debt is that the ace of cups is in the reverse the ace of cups is in the reverse okay so um whatever this is is that the ace of cups is as if something was going to be given to you but it's as if it's turned back okay and the page of Pentacles is here okay so there's no love but there's money <laughs> okay so with the energies um, going from the third week until the fourth week you have the page of Pentacles coming up um, what is coming out here there is a message that is coming in so a passionate message is going to be coming in to you guys at the end of uh, um, the week the end of the month the end of the week um, the end of the month okay so there was an offer that was going to be coming in the energy of the magician um, you receive an offer and you were thinking about this offer then it's as if this offer um, of love you know this person didn't want to anymore and it comes to an end good because there is a new offer that is coming in um, in the fourth week <laughs> And in, in the fourth week and you are going to be connecting with this person in a positive way okay so the the, the page of Pentacles is coming up and the page of Pentacles and the page of cups is here so this is um, actually good because there's a new start in money um, in the third week going in the fourth week there's a new start with love as we look there's a passionate message that is going to be coming someone wants to connect with you and to work together with you so this is good magician and the ace of cups in reverse we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so some of you had connected with the Knight of Cups, whoever this person is, is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion between the age of 25 and 45. It was an offer, it looks like a magical offer. All of a sudden, it is in reverse and it is dead. Okay, so, um, <laughs> whatever. So it's as if, yeah, whatever, you know, leave it alone. And then what is coming is that um, the moon, it has something to do with your enemies. And they're no longer, because what this could be saying is that somebody wants to work with you because they see the potential and they wanted to steal. Actually, someone is going, this is the form of stealing. This is a form of, oh, you know nice it's good I want to work with you and it is someone who is and Pisces cancer or a scorpion uh, oh nice I want to work with you you know you have a lot of ideas whatever whatever and then all of a sudden you hear nothing um, and then the third week you find out that this energy has now ended that means the person took your information and your idea and don't want to work with you so <laughs> this is what is going to be happening but um, and this is why I always say to people, especially because I'm not, I'm, I don't do this um, as my work. I'm gonna, I, I, I work with numbers, <laughs> so I always say to people, always put uh, your logo on a document. So if you have any idea and whatever, have a trademark, a logo on it, because this is exactly what I'm seeing happening here for some of you with this knight of cups okay and whoever this knight of cups is was not very honest in the beginning so not to worry about this whoever this knight of cups was is not very honest in the beginning so don't worry about it okay but you're gonna be victorious over this because the energy of the chariot comes um so what is happening uh, basically is that um whoever this knight was you know you're gonna overcome this person because um, 
I, you, you know always market your thing with your trademark okay um, this person was a little bit cunning okay and I can see this in cancer people I don't really see this in Pisces but if the Pisces are not working on the right energy vibration they can be like that too but um, but to be honest it is always uh, um, the energy of the cancer who would do something like that take you know take your work and and give their trade name so um, this or take your work take your idea and your work and 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 you know behave as if it's theirs I don't see Pisces doing it but Pisces people will do it especially when they're working on the lower energies okay um, let's see what else is coming out for this night and and the moon um, eight of Pentacles um, eight of Pentacles um, they're coming back to say that they want to work with you so it's as if whatever the situation is um, you haven't heard from them okay it's as if you pit something or you tell them something or you did something for them to help them to pitch something and but it is um, for some people that you were working with them or you were going to um, doing something for them because here you are in limbo waiting and in the third week you're not going to air anything and then you're gonna realize that this knight who comes up with this brilliant idea and whatever it just it just died because the energy of the ace of cups is in the reverse um, but love is looking good in the two last week um, um, for the people in love it, this is looking good this is going to be good this is be going you'll be going um, in the right direction direction I'm seeing um, the end of a situation a financial situation um, so if you guys were having financial problem in the third week this is going to change because I'm seeing a new beginning and a victorious success success is coming in okay Let's see what is happening with your enemies because you have overcome your enemies. So, yes, and you're going on a new journey. So this is good. Um, be careful that for that um, old, that's a, a real deep old. So be careful. I love this deck. I love this energy. Um, really be careful on this new journey that you're about to go. So some of you are going to be having it with people that, you know offered you it could be the offer in love it could be the offer in a business deal it could be the offer in work and all of a sudden there is basically nothing the third week that dies so whatever the situation is and whatever is transpiring um, your financial situation is going to get better it's no question and new love is coming to you and there's going to be a message of um, there is going to be a message of uh, um, passion coming at you and um, it's as if um, in the last week it's as if you're going to be connecting in love and in business and this is going to be good there's going to be a triumphant outcome and a new start okay a new start in business and a new start in work um, this is happening and this is transparent in your life so this is going to be good outcomes of your month outcomes of the your month is the hermit or comes of your month is the hermit and I can basically see why the outcomes of the month is the hermit because what is transpiring here is that someone left you in the cold there was a situation where some of you were just left in the cold because um, people weren't you know because here you are it has to do with your your enemies it has to be with people who basically was it being honest and you know I, I'm like this if if people come to me and you know they have a lot of bullshit and that sort of a thing I, I, I listen I, I basically just listen to them you know because whatever they need to say I guess they need to say and I just listen basically okay so um, whatever is happening or whatever is transpiring is that this person I, you know whoever this person was that came to you for this idea or whatever it was was it idea or they wanted to know what was going on and then all of a sudden you ha you have heard nothing from them um you know then in the fourth week 
um, you're gonna be receiving this message of you know you know I you know what about if both of us um, you know connect and whatever in this passionate uh, message and that sort of a thing and you know uh, you both are going to be um, working together because I'm seeing here the Knight of Cups. So, you know, the Knight of Cups is very smart, okay? Because this is a smart person. This has he has a lot of brilliant ideas, and the Knight uh, and, and that is someone that is good to work with, okay? Um, to be honest, so, um, and he has brilliant ideas, and he walks upright, and you know, it's like, but. Uh, um, and you know we're going to be working together and that sort of a thing but think about it think about it because what is that then is that and it doesn't have to be the night of cuffs could be someone uh, somebody else uh, um, that is going to affect you but what you're seeing here is the energy of the hangman because it's, 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 it's the month of justice for you guys and it's the energy of the hangman and the ace of cups is in reverse so, but what is also in reverse is the energy of the moon and the energy of the moon is in reverse because you are about to go on a new journey you're leaving um, behind this new love that was who the magician comes in and then he pops out you're just gonna be leaving that behind and you're moving on forward then we have the energy of transition and if your financial situation was you know down and out it's gonna get better new love is coming in with passionate and that is best and that is good okay so I um, basically really really love um, I really really love your month okay um, this is a positive you and end up with the energy of the hermit so you're looking and uh, looking inwards and um, you're looking inwards uh, and you're going to be realizing and seeing the truth of certain situations and certain people okay all right we're going back to the um, the old way I guess you guys really like this way um, so we're going to look and see what is happening to the people between the ages of uh, uh, 15 and 30 15 and 30 then we're going to look at the people between the ages of 30 and 40 then we are going to look at the men and women over the age the men and women over the age of 40 huh so so we change up the dates okay because sometimes we there is just changes everything is just changes so okay let's um, let's look at um, the people between the ages of 15 and 30 what is going to be happening um, for you in your general life the people between the ages of 15 and 30 the ace of sword the ace of the flamingo <gasps> I'm sorry I'm not showing you okay so these are the, the people between the ages of 15 and 30 and they have the energy of the ace of the flamingo so they're going to be victory and success um, um they're going to be very 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 successful okay um, these young people these young people are going to be extremely successful especially the ones that are studying okay and that's happening in their general life so let's see um, what is happening around them you have the energy of the six of Pentacles there is help coming I'm sorry but this looks like doo doo okay but it's the six of Pentacles so help is coming okay so um, wonderful the ace of sword and the six of Pentacles which is a wonderful wonderful positive positive messages so health is coming and you can see the little push is um, a victory and success and help is going to be coming for you okay let's see what is the outcomes with love and relationship and that sort of a thing we have the lovers yes because um, basically um, the people between the ages of 15 and 30 this is so wonderful because um, some of you are brilliant and as in school some of you are really 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 going to do well in school this is good this is really really good so 
um, this is a very 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 positive situation okay so young people 15 to 30 um, you're gonna be victorious and successful in everything that is happening especially in love um, in work and that sort of a situation then there is help that is going to be coming some of you are going to be receiving help from someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion or a Leo that is going to come in and help you whatever you're doing you're going to be victorious and successful okay when it comes to love um, your parents is protecting you and love and some of you are going to be meeting your soulmate so if you're between the ages of 15 and 30 this is what is going to be happening for you guys okay all right let's move on to the people between the ages of um, 30 and 40 what is going to be happening in general for the people between the ages of 30 and 40 are the ace of hats the ace of hats is the ace of cups so new love is coming in your life so um, the people between the ages of um, this is so wonderful the people between the ages of um, uh, 30 and 40 uh, in general you're going to be connecting the new love in your life new love new love is coming in okay what other things should we look at um, the hangman the hangman some of you are going to be in limbo okay it is the vacation period and some of you are going to be in limbo when it comes along to work or study and that sort of a thing you're in the sense of limbo so the people between 30 and 40 you could be changing jobs you could be thinking about to change jobs and that sort of a thing so you are in the form of limbo in love in love you have the energy of the world so this is wonderful whatever is happening um, for you guys um, some of you are going to be ending a relationship and starting a new relationship this is wonderful and this is good okay not to worry about whatever is transpiring in your life um, whatever relationship and whatever needs to end and leave your life is going to be ending and you are going to be moving on um, forward in your life okay let's look at the latest over 40 ladies over 40 in your general life you have the page of hat the page of hat is your kids um, the page of act is uh, new love coming in this is twice in your reading so you ladies over 40 receive the energy of the page of cups this is twice in your reading so a lot of love is going to be coming into you ladies over 40 the page of cups is here twice okay wonderful energies because the page of cups is here twice um so you guys in the third week is going to receive a lot of love coming to you it could be um if you're a teacher you're going back to school or if you're working with kids a lot of love coming to you in the third week you ladies over 40 okay let's see what's happening to work and career for the ladies over 40 work and career you have the energy of the nine of Pentacles oh my god in work and career for you ladies the energy of the nine of Pentacles this is wonderful this is positive this is a good time this is going and working out positive for you guys so this is good what is happening the lady over 40 in love what is happening for you ladies over 40 in love the king of oyster the king of oyster is the king of pentacles so some of you ladies are going to be connecting with a Taurus a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn some of you ladies is going to be connecting with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn in love okay so static static okay that is good for the ladies over 40 it's actually um, a very very good he um, good um, month for you guys okay let's move on and go to the uh, men over 40 what is happening for the men over 40 what is happening for the men over 40 we have the night of oyster now the men over 40 in their general life is have to deal with someone who is basically a um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn okay whatever the situation is 
this person is basically a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn some of you are going in your general life it could be your son um, you men it could be your son it also could be um, someone on the work uh, in, in your general life uh, neighbors and that sort of a thing that you have to deal with friends and that sort of a thing but it, it is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn okay um, so yeah okay let's look and see what is basically happening for the men in work and career what is happening for the men in work and career temperance temperance which is the energy vibration the general energy of the month so love and in work and career for you men over the age of 40 um, it's gonna be it's not gonna be easy okay whether it's work whether it's career it's not going to be easy for you men so um, brace yourself for this situation because it's not going to be easy okay whatever the situation is it's not going to be easy let's look at um, the Aquarians men for August in love the Aquarians men for August in love what is happening for the Aquarius Aquarius men? you're going on a new journey in your relationship some of you are going to decide um, to leave your relationship behind some of you are going to be deciding to look for a new relationship some of you are going to be deciding to look for a new relationship okay so 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 okay wow I am basically loving this because these two um, decks or from the same um, wonder land turret desk so this is good now we're going on for the last energy um, and the last energy is going to be coming from the animal spirit guides for the Aquarian for the month of August what is the message for the animal spirit guides for the Aquarian month of August what is the message for the uh, Aquarians? So the animal spirit guides for the Aquarians. What is the message for the Aquarians? The Aquarians, you have the eagle. And, you know, I would expect, uh, I, seriously, I would expect the Aquarians and the Gemini to have the eagle. Um, why is because they're very keen at seeing things not only that they're very very smart people and the eagle has a, um, a unique eyes of finding things okay are or, or seeing things so um, wonderful energies that comes up um, now the eagle is a bird so because we have the, the this this deck is um, so place in different different uh, the cheetah uh, the cobra it's all um, set under um, the different energies and I, I you know I so love this because I decided um, that I would the pecan so you the eagle should be by the pecan it's, it's just so weird I have to um, learn this because where I think the crow so the eagle should be here if the crow is there the eagle should be there uh, the eagle should be there if the crow is there then the eagle should be there okay there. The, yeah the orc and the eagle okay so you guys have it okay the eagle all prevating power truth seekers transformation from karma loving this the noble eagle emanates the lights of the Sun this great bird is both a physical and spiritual strong and representative mastery over the elements of fire and air and this is it each and every person and this is why I keep on teaching people about the elements that you vibrate on the eagle is a fire and an air sign okay when the ego appear you will soon be thrown into the karmatic fire for the snake 
of your transformation the ego pushes us to uh, be our best and brightest sleeve and stop at nothing to see us uh, shine grasp the sun in your Taurus and hold on for the ride you are stronger than you think eagle child isn't this wonderful this is really wonderful when in balance you are bright and radiant no challenges can uh, affect you when you're out of balance controlling you're very controlling and that is true when you're out of balance when this is what people do not understand people who have control issues is that you're actually out of balance okay um, to bring into balance a step into the unknown okay this is uh, this is beautiful because whenever you want to balance yourself it is better um, and uh, these are things that I'm going to explain to people because a lot of people do not understand them own selves because whenever someone is going to try and control someone else you're out of balance okay I want to say thank you uh, please leave a message about this reading it's 30 minutes I think this month reading is going to be 30 minutes because five weeks I want to say namaste until next time